Good morning everyone. I am back and I have so much paint mixed up that you're going to get dizzy of all the videos I'm going to put on today because I've had some really really sweet people, you know, emailing me constantly about buying one of my sacrificial canvases and they just every time they mailed they were too late. That sort of made me really sad because um you know, if you put so much uh, effort into uh, mailing me each time I do that, you know, the, it makes me sad that you can't buy one because they're already sold. So, what did I do? I wrote uh, the person and I said, you know what, tomorrow I'm going to do a couple of pours and um, I won't sell them before you've seen them. So, sorry if you want to buy them straight away, but I promised her first pick. So, um... I'm going to do that because I think that's a, that's a nice thing to do and um, because she she mailed me, I don't know, I think about eight times and every time she was too late. And I could imagine, you know, if that happened to me, I would be pretty sad. So, I got the uh, sponsor list all... Uh, I, I made it, the, the names a little bit bigger so you can recognize your names. Now, let me explain this one more time, people, because I... I you know, I'm getting a little few vibes from people saying, oh, that is amazing, how much money does she earn? Everything you see here is from my PayPal link, and it's from uh, Pixabay. What you, what you shouldn't forget is that Pixabay is uh, where I um, made those images that everyone can download for free. And people who do that sometimes give you a dollar or two dollars. And the thing is that I cannot, um, I don't know who donates to my channel or who donates because I put my images up on Pixabay. So a lot of people on this on this uh, the sponsor list are people from Pixabay. They give you a dollar, two dollars. I've never had more than, I think, two dollars on Pixabay. Um, so... Don't get all, um, you know, like, oh, she's uh, becoming a millionaire. <laughs> because uh, because I'm not, really. I promise. I won't become a millionaire and go live on a tropical island and leave you guys. I will not do that. <laughs> but just so that you know that, you know, this is not all people that, you know, give me hundreds of dollars. <laughs> I wish it were true. Um, so, thank you doesn't matter how much you you sponsor me some people you know just put on uh, on the PayPal thing I hope this helps and then um, you know I have a feeling they think that it doesn't help but you know every single dollar helps because I put it all into the paint so it always helps doesn't matter what what amount it is uh, I'm happy with it when I see one of those things come in I go yay paint or yay canvases <laughs> okay so uh, don't worry about it. Um, when I get really rich and I'm driving my Mercedes uh, convertible down the road, I'll um, I'll do a little vlog and you can watch me do that. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. What are we gonna do today? So what I thought about was let's use pigments. Now, <laughs> oh no, I'm kidding with you guys. I got. I want to use these pigments because this was the link, the missing link to my art. Because I've I've said it so many times, even before uh, I knew Leslie uh, and color art, I said I'm missing something. It's you know the pores are pretty, but I'm just missing something. And look at that. This is a uh, this is a, a color I haven't used yet, and um, it's called African Jade. Look at it. That is the most amazing, amazing color blue I've ever seen. So I'm going to be doing uh, pouring uh, uh, something with these colors in it. And now I'm thinking, oh, what did you do? You haven't mixed that paint yet. <laughs> so this one, my, my this is my favorite. It has to be my favorite. Uh, let's see. Blue Bayou. That's it. And I know Blue Bayou, the Bayou is uh, something in uh, New Orleans, but um, Blue Bayou is also, uh, yeah, you know what I mean. It it, it has a, a catchy name. I'm, I'm glad that uh, Leslie did these really cool names on them, because um, 
Can you imagine if she do did the scientific names of this stuff? <laughs> yeah, let's not even think about it. So, and I got this one, the kiwi, you know, that's one of my favorite colors. And then we have Guatemalan green, that's this one. That is so much like my uh, turquoise. So, I guess you didn't have to uh, figure out why I like it. See that? Look at that. It is almost the same color. This is uh, the turquoise green, and this is Leslie's... How did she call it again? African Jade. That's it. Or was it Guatemala Green? No, I don't know anymore. Doesn't matter. In any case, uh, this is the colors we're using. I'll give you a close-up. If that thing focuses. Not sure it does. So I'll call them out one more time. Kiwi, African Jade, Guatemala Green, and uh, Blue Bayou. Okay, lots of people keep on asking me about the mixing of the paint. So I'm going to mix up, uh, let's see, I think two or three. That's it. That's what I can do. So I got a lot of pre-mixed paint. Uh, I'm going to mix up a uh, the cerulean blue and the Windsor blue. I have um, Prussian blue, I have that one, and I have turquoise green which will be going into this pour, and I have pre-mixed uh, the titanium white. Uh, some people have even asked me, you know, how do you uh, pre-mix uh, your paints and put them in the jars? So I'll discuss that too. Let me get it together. Prussian. Yeah. And I'm going to do a uh, phalo blue. Yeah. See? Got it covered. So, um, how do I mix the paint for in my uh, jars? It's really, really easy. It's nothing different than how I mix it in these cups. What I do is, um, like I'm doing now, only you, you use a lot more paint, of course, but, whoops, there's a little hard, crusty thing going on there. We don't want that in the paint. So, you just put your color in your jar. Now I'm using a cup, but if you use a jar, you'll put a lot more in there. Now you eyeball it, and you take your pouring medium, and what I do is 20 to 30 percent pouring medium on top and then I mix it up. No water, just pouring medium and paint. Just like that. Make it nice and smooth. See how smooth it is? And that you do that with all your colors. So putting in a little there. Eyeball it and then put in 20 to 30 percent and then you go and mix it up make it nice and smooth there we go make sure you get around the sides because you don't want to miss some paint so when you got it all smooth I'm doing one more just like that then I can put them away create some more room so eyeballing it putting some in and people, this is not this is not science because if you put in 20, if you put in 40 percent, it's not going to uh, make your cells go away. I promise, because I've done it before. I've done a mix up to 50 percent. So you have then you have paint, 50 percent pouring medium, and then added the water. It does exactly the same thing. It doesn't improve the cells. It doesn't lessen the cells. So I thought, you know, I go with the ratio 20 to 30 percent because I'm positive it works and I'm positive that the water I add um, will work well with the pouring medium. <coughs> then I come in with the water
had to get some nice cold water because we are having a little bit of a temperature uh, spike over here in Holland. It is raining and gray, but it is warm and humid. So I got the air conditioner running. See how quickly, I have, if you put that pouring medium in, see how quickly it takes up the water? Right now it's totally smooth again. So then you put in some more. So never in one squirt you put in all your water. You don't want to do that because then you'll be mixing for way too long. So here we go, down to the middle, scrape the sides, a couple of more swirls like that, put it on your stick, hold it up, still too thick, a little bit more. Yep, I'm there. When it comes off that stick in one continuous stream, sort of like honey, that's what you're looking for. So whoop, there you go. That's number one. Now we're going to do that to the other two colors too. And this is really, it's it's so so fun to mix uh, mix this paint. It gets, it gets me all zen and all nice and calm and I'm thinking about how I'm going to pour and or if I'm going to do a flip cup and thinking about putting more or less color in and you know it just gives you time to reflect on the art piece you're going to make and I think that's very important. See normally I would have um, Judge Judy on here on my uh, iPad which by the way I can't pick up today because they uh, haven't received it yet. Um, I was I was gonna make a smart aleck remark like uh, we're not in Canada where everything takes uh, six weeks. They sent it out on Monday and now it's Thursday and it's still not there. So uh, I, no, I'm not upset about it. I'm 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 really over the moon that they're gonna give me a new one. Really, because that is. Um, totally amazing for me so uh, you know Apple uh, can do nothing wrong in my book um, yesterday I got an email from uh, from Greg Greg that uh, you know the painting was lost going to Canada I got an email can you imagine he, he received the painting I was so happy I really was I went wow this is the best news I got all day not because of, um, you know, I would have given him his money back, that's not the thing, but, you know, I'd rather ha he have that uh, painting and, um, you know, I can't make a new one because there's no way you can do the, the same painting. It can have the same colors, but no way that it will look the same. So, um, he received the painting and his keychain, or uh, key thing, and uh, he was happy. So, uh, all's well that ends well, right? So, there we go. So, normally I'd have music, uh, you know, in the background. And I think that's what you should do. If you're not doing videos for YouTube, because YouTube is so strict with that kind of stuff. So, if you don't have a YouTube, uh, or you're not videoing for YouTube, I think you should put on some music. Something that, you know, really touches your inner artist. Yeah. Something that, you know, you can just sort of get dreamy and go mix and everything goes in slow motion and you're enjoying yourself. I think that's very important. But I like uh, talking to you guys, so I don't miss the music when I do the videos because, um, well, because I get to talk to you. And really, I'm so used to these videos that it, it is totally amazing for me. Because it is like you guys are standing like in a whole row around me and watching me doing what I'm doing. I'm going to take this away now. So sponsors from uh, May 2017, I love you all. Really, really do. And um, I'll be doing uh, four prints pretty soon. As soon as I get all this stuff done and the paintings out of the door, you know, the people who have paid for the paintings, I got to get that one, uh, got to get that going. And um, then I'll do a draw uh, and do the prints, four prints. And then at the end of the month, I always do a painting. So I'll be looking out for something really cool 
you know, I do something different every month. Maybe I'll, I'll do a 30 by 30 gallery thing, you know, with the thick canvas. I might do that. That's cool. So, I'm taking this out because I don't want to get it all um, smudged. So I can use it again in the next one. Because usually I torch and there comes a little hole in the, in the plastic. And then, um, well, then the, the paint gets on that sponsor list and I have to make a new one. And I know how upset some people get about using so much paper, so I won't. I won't do that. I'll be uh, careful. Okay, we're ready to go. What are we going to do? How are we going to do this? So I thought about putting everything in a cup and doing for the first flip cup with pigments. So I'll show you again these pigments. And if you're going to buy them, you have to go to this site. There we go. Put it on pause. And if you use this code, 25% off. Leslie is so happy with all the uh, orders coming in. What she did ask me to tell you guys is please give her a little bit of time because, you know, other than all those, you know, Windsor & Newton paints and, and the Royal Talents paints, you know, that's all, they have a big factory and everyone, you know, works there and stuff. But um, Leslie has, she hand picks the colors, hand, hand packages everything. You know, and with with all the orders that came in because of the uh, coupon code, you know, she has to do that all by herself with a, a, a crew of guys. And they do it all by hand. There's no big machines doing that. So please give her a little bit of time to send out these orders. Okay, we're going to do this. We're going to put the paint in. I'm going to start with white. I didn't put uh, silicone in the blues, that's right. I'm going to use spray because I don't want to use the uh, I don't want to use the uh, treadmill. So two sprays. There we go. There we go. And the last one. Just like that. Okay, now we're ready. See, in these I put everything in there. So it's paint. It's 20 to 30 percent pouring medium. I put the water in until the good consistency, like this. And then I added um, treadmill lubricant. And so it is ready to go. So we're going to start off with a little bit of white. And then comes in all those beautiful blues. But before I put in more, I'm going to put in a little bit of white. And then I'm going to come in with the pigments. So these pigments... I've never done this before, so I'll be really, really, really curious what they're going to do when you pour them. So that's one color. Then I think I'll use this one, the uh, Prussian Blue. There we go. And I want some green, which is pre-mixed. Because I want to go for that sea, uh, sea theme again. So let's put some green in there. Then some more white. I'm mixing up the storm here, people. Then dark turquoise, Windsor & Newton some more green. I think I'd like some more green in this one. Then I'm gonna go in with another pigment color. That's it. Don't want to waste any. Then, was this the, uh, no that wasn't. This one. This is the Blue Bayou, which is gonna go in there right now. Putting it on top and finishing off with more white because I'd like a little bit more white. Okay, we got it. Now I'm going to put this on here like that. Letting it go up a little. 
and pulling it down. There we go. Wow. And again, guys, I do not want to swipe this. Look at that. I don't want to swipe this. It is just too pretty. Look at that. There's all all the primary elements are rising up to the top. Oh, I so hope I don't... Oh, I was going to say the F word. Um, <laughs> can't use the F word. That's something, um, you know, that is... Um, in Holland, the F word is used by everybody. And I'm really talking about everybody. When children are about three years old and they start talking, you know, the parents just let them say the F word because they think that's so cute. Because a little child will go around saying the F word all the time. But it, you know, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't think I'd uh, allow my child to do that. I don't really like it. Because it's the uh, start of, um, you know, I don't think they understand what they're saying. That's not it, but, you know, who would want a child three, four years old going around F this and F that and, no, I don't know. I wouldn't do that. This is going to be one beautiful painting. I could tell you that. Look at it. Look at those cells. I'm really playing with them. Letting them come all over the place. Letting them run down. This is uh, beautiful. I'm pretty sure she's going to pick this one. Now, let me tell you wh what happened with the paint. You think I should torch it? Because right now, let me clean my hands a little bit. i got to clean my hands. Where's my big, big, big poopy thing? Yeah. Okay, let me... Let me tell you how this um, primary element uh, has uh, performed in this pour. Because you saw me put it in, right? So it was, um, it could have just sank, sank to the bottom, but it didn't. So what ha what's happening now? Here, this, this piece here, it's white, but you can see the primary elements pop right through. This whole, whole band of color is primary elements. This blue that you see popping through all over the place, primary elements. This is the beautiful, beautiful, um, shiny, pearly, and and even now as I'm ready with the pour, you can see it. It's 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 alive, and that's what I was looking for as an artist. You don't want to put paint on on a canvas and then say that's it. Well, sometimes you do, but. <laughs> No, this is this is what I'm going for. This stuff is so alive. It is going to work, work, work until it has made its way to the surface and everything you see here that is blue, this bit, all this, this bit, it's all primary elements that has come to the top and says, "Look at me, here I am. I am the boss over the rest of the paint because that's what it's really doing. It's fighting to get on top and pushing down the other paint and just saying I'm the boss and I want to be on top. So this down here is also uh, there is some primary elements in here and what you're uh, seeing is that it's not cells but it's blooming so it expands as you know you just leave it and it goes takes over and expands and from the inside out, you will see if you go back and forth in your video, you will see this painting totally come alive. And oh, I think that is that is the, the bit that you like as an artist. You have so much control over the paint, but once it's there, you want it to do its own thing. Because then it's it's like organic. Do I am I making sense? I hope so. But it, this this really tickles me pink. I can't help it. I love it. Um, especially now I see all these beautiful... Look at that. Even now the white is coming through. That is so cool. That is so cool. Really. 
I love it. And let me look for the uh, kiwi color. I see some kiwi here, and I see a little kiwi here. So, you know, all the colors are doing a dance, and they're um, making it into something beautiful. Wow. Well, okay. But I do want a torch, because... Nah, I shouldn't torch. This is just too beautiful, right, people? Uh, but I see some air bubbles, so I do have to torch a little. <laughs> oh, this is going to be a long video again. I don't care. Like you guys said, let me do it this quick, because I don't want cells. But I don't want the air bubbles, because I want to let this thing just stay as it is. Okay. So, yeah, I did get a little bit of cell action up here. Just a teeny tiny bit. Maybe we should just do in here a tiny bit. Because even, you know, when I did it that quick. There we go. Yeah. That looks cool. Ooh, I touched the iPad again. Okay, this is it. That's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to, let's see, get some cups. I'm going to put it up there. So, uh, for uh, future reference, this is number 300. Okay? So, th number 300 is for sale, 27 euros, including shipping, anywhere in the world. So, you can't get anything cheaper than that. Going on to the next one, another sacrificial candles. Oh, this is amazing what's on this table. Someone gave me a really, really beautiful idea, and I love all your ideas, and I, I really think about every single thing you say. I really, really think about it. Um, they said, you know, you should get a really big, huge pack of um, cardstock, and then you could press your cardstock into the paint, and you could use that as, like, business cards. And I'm thinking, wow, that is such a cool idea, because then everyone would have a different card. They would all be different. Everyone could see the beautiful colors of the paint. That would be really cool. So, now I'm going to use just a little bit more of the uh, primary elements. Letting it fall in from up high. There we go just a little bit more and I'm going to give it a little swirl because I want to see it come back a little bit more you know every time um, you use it, it it sort of stays to itself in its own little space on the canvas so we have to help it a little bit by giving it a little swirl that's okay that's that and the kiwi put the kiwi in here we go. Not all of it, because I do want to do one more after this one. So the, this uh, video is going to be three pours. Wow. Maybe I'll do a swipe. Okay, a little bit more white, I think. That would fit. And a tiny bit of that nice dark blue, Prussian blue. Because I like it so much. Here we go. Give it a little wink wink. Here we go. Are you ready for it? Look at those colors. Look at those cells. <laughs> okay, here we go. Ooh, this one's beautiful too. And this uh, this silicone, if you guys are thinking, you know, this is the silicone and Marie uses it could be, and it is a treadmill lubricant. Treadmill lubricant, and it's... Um, I've put, a couple of times i put the link in the uh, comments, the link of uh, where I buy it on eBay. 
I buy it uh, from the UK and that person is selling a lot of that lubricant. Oh look at that, wow! I just want to swipe it. But I don't want to swipe it because it is so beautiful. But I do want to torch it. Let's torch it straight away. Let's do this. There we go. It shouldn't be any more than that, people, because you don't want to burn anything. You don't want a, a skin on top. You don't want anything. Do not over torch your uh, paint. There we go. I'm going to just give it a little bit of a boundary so it doesn't go over. Oh, something amazing is happening there. Don't know if you can see it. Come on, get in focus. Uh, I think it's going to go away a little bit when I tilt it, but it is beautiful. See, now I'm stretching this band out because I like that band. You know, when you do the tilting, you don't want to tilt too fast. Not after you've, um, not after you have uh, done the uh, torching. You just want to do it really slowly because you do want to have um, some control over how the cells are moving over the canvas. Oh, this is so beautiful. Man. Okay, I've got a lot of paint on the table now. I think I'll have to sacrifice my arm because I don't want to put it in because then they become so dirty on the back side. Don't want to do that. I'm doing the sides a little bit. That's it. This one has so many cells going over it. It is awesome. So this is uh, number 301. I'll uh, give you a close-up in a bit. I'm going to put it on cups. can't get it on cups because my hands is totally covered in, in paint. I should have an assistant, don't you think? <laughs> okay, I'll just show it like this. Here we go. This is a totally different sort of um, um, cells because what you're seeing, let me just let this slip off a little bit. I think it's a little too thick. Everything you're seeing is um, Oh, it's so organic, it's not even cells. It's more like lacing, everything is lacing. And uh, there are a few little cells, but when you look at the color, I don't want to drip on top, but if you look at the color, it is totally aqua. It's, uh, uh, it's so much resembles water that it is totally stunning. But the blues and the turquoise and the greens is all mingled up there. It is a totally balanced piece. It is. Okay, got it up there. Oh, look at me. I am totally... It, it's not a good idea to do three pours. But I don't care. Let's do it. Next one. What I want to do is use this to uh, moisten my canvas. So that's what we're going to do. Here we go. So I don't waste anything. Ooh, it's pretty. Maybe we can do this one as a swipe. That would be might be a good idea. There we go. I don't know how, but some somehow I feel like a cook, some sort of a cook. Cake baker. Glazing the cake. Okay. We got that covered. Now, for the rest of the paint, I'm going to put everything I have left in there, so we're going to start with a little bit of white. 
put in every single bit of blue because this is the last one for this video. Then I'm going to do a clean up and I'm going to come back. No, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do a swipe. That's what I'm going to do. So let's see how we do this. I'm going to put in a lot of pigments. There we go. I like it to have a little bit of a, you know, I don't want it to look all lined up. I don't like that. Sometimes I do because some people do that. And when I see it, I like it. But when I'm, you know, when I get the paint, I like to uh, put it on randomly because I, I think it just adds a little bit more um, to the piece. So here we go, more primary elements. Here we go. A little bit more. I like some nice big blotches because another thing that this um, the primary elements does is it gives a um, a relief on the painting, and I kind of like that because see my sister says I don't like it when it's so smooth. It looks like it's you know printed or something. I like a, a piece of art that has some texture to it. That's what she said. She says, I really miss the texture. So, and I sort of agree with her. That doesn't, uh, that doesn't uh, often happen that I do agree with her, but <laughs> this time I did. Sorry, Marianne. Uh, but, um, you know, sometimes a little texture is cool because it makes uh, the painting more alive. Okay, now we're going to come in with the paint. Little paint here little paint there. I think this is the longest video I've made. Like that. And I want some green. We didn't have green yet. Green come in. There you go. Some up here, down there. There we go. <coughs> now I'm going to come in with the white. And up here with the white. And I might do a double a double swipe. I'm not totally sure yet. We'll see how it works out. And then I really have to clean up because I am so covered in paint. I like it. Can't help it. I just love it. I love getting all dirty. Okay, let's Oh, I, did I touch the iPad again? I think so, because I'm a little bit cramped here with all these um, cups. Let me put them on the side and do this. Maybe, just maybe, I will get a little bit more paint involved. Because I see a little bit of here and there. I don't see enough paint. So here a little bit, there a little bit. Okay, let's do this. Okay, putting it up there. Whoa. Ooh, that's kind of cool. And bring it back. Wow, what a sells, right? But I'm not going to stop here because last time when I told you I had to do some uh, damage control on the... Uh, on the canvas. What I really like is doing a swipe and I haven't seen people do that yet but I like moving it uh, after the swipe. So I'm going to be moving it down a little bit. Oh no I'm lying I did see someone do it too. Yeah I did. I thought oh that is so nice that's what I got when I moved it, so then I thought, I'll do that again. Oh, no, I'm not going to do nothing because this is just too gorgeous. I do have a little hole here, which I have to fix a little bit. Look at it. It's, it's totally alive. It is just fighting. All those primary elements are fighting to get on top. And they're doing a good job because I can see them getting on top. But I have two pieces that I want to fill in just a little bit. 
just a little bit because I don't want any holes. And where's the other one that's here? That's okay. Look at that. That worked perfectly. Any more holes? Nope. Maybe here a little bit. There. Okay, this is gorgeous. This is a uh, 303. But remember people, uh, I think, oh, I keep forgetting names, I'm not sure, I think it's Joy, but I know who, who she is, Love Joy, something like that was her email, I think. So she has first pick, and then, uh, you know, it'll be who's mailed first can buy them. This one is another $27, of dollars, 27 euros, uh, including shipping, so look at it move. It is still moving. It is beautiful. It reminds me of a wisteria or something like that. Ooh, that we could do that. We could do that in another color. Wisterias. I when I think wisteria, I think purple. Shall we do this in purple, people? Yeah. That could be a good idea. Okay. Let me put this one down. So, what a mess, right? But, but look at that. I almost did not waste any paint at all. I'm pretty sure everyone's proud of, of me for not wasting that much paint. So, let's get into this. Okay, this was the first one. This is number 300. There we go. This is the second one. Look how different it looks. Oh, come on, get in focus. There we go. Look at it. It's like a... This reminds me of a, a, a storm on, on the sea or something like that. It is totally amazing. I love it. And then the last one. Here we go. Look at that. That is beautiful, isn't it? And all those pigments are coming to the top. They are totally amazing. Okay, I'm going to stop now. Upload. It's going to take a while for the... Oh, look at that. See that big box here? It's huge. I'll give you a peek inside. Look how many. These are um, gigantic uh, canvases, which I will be using for my splatter outside. Okay, I'm not going to talk anymore. Way too long. Thank you all. See you in the next video, which will be in an hour. Bye-bye.